möchte euch jetzt einen Redner vorstellen. Das ist Sergi Kuse aus der Ukraine. Er ist erst 16 Jahre alt und lebt jetzt in Polen und ist dort in der pronuklearen Bewegung aktiv. Und er hält jetzt eine kleine Rede. Und es ist wirklich toll, dass so viele junge Menschen hier bei uns auf der Bühne sich für die Kernkraft aussprechen. Sergi Kuz. Kuz. Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, I want to say for us people of Eastern Europe, uh, German has always been an example of a good approach to life. German technology has always been considered as superior on our agenda and the Germans themselves as intelligent people. That is we are here today, because we cannot remain silent looking at such approaching, such an important topic as energy. Probably no one will agree, argue with me the fact that today is the basis of the modern world and is the closure of the nuclear power plants in a country with 18 million inhabitants will have a huge impact, not only on ecology, but also on the wallets of ordinary citizens. German nuclear power plants and its peak each year filled one-third of German's total electricity consumption. So it's not hard to calculate how much your electricity bills will increase if you're gonna need to import energy. In addition, nuclear power plants are the safest facilities in the power industry and the opponents of nuclear energy often could to give the example of the Chernobyl tragedy, but according of the most pessimistic calculation, the aid of disease caused by an accident is around 4,000 people, which of course is a terrible tragedy, but according of research of the Paul Scherer Institute in 290, on the modern enterprises, the number of fatal incidents is comparable to the calculation error. It's 0.01 per one gigawatt hour of generated energy, while in the competing terminal power plants, the number goes in a thousand. Over 100 fatal accidents of our workers per one gigawatt hour of generated energy. Another argument of the opponents of the nuclear power plants is the radioactive waste produced by them. But in practice, uranium-235 fissionating reactors can be regenerated and reused, which may allow a closed fuel system in the future. But we will never know it if we start destroying clean energy sources now. Alex, those processes in the terminal power plants fly ashes and oxides of sulfur, carbon and nitrogen that have no function other than destroying our environment. And also, lass uns gemeinsam für eine bessere Zukunft kämpfen, ich und unser. Dankeschön, Sergi Kuss, 16 Jahre aus, aus der Ukraine, für die Kernkraft, heute hier bei uns. Dankeschön.